Welcome to Inside UNA Basketball. Welcome to another edition of Inside UNA Basketball with Bobby Champagne. I'm Benjamin Ray. We have two games to feature in this episode of Inside UNA Basketball. UNA went wire to wire with two top 15 teams in the nation, losing by a combined three points in the two ball games. First, UNA lost 77 to 76 to West Florida, then an overtime loss to Valdosta State and coached two great ball games. I know it's tough to come out on the losing end, but uh, what can you say about the way your team played? Yeah, really tough to uh, take those two losses. Uh, both both games, our, our team are, are played with great effort. Uh, had a great attitude, really fought hard in both ball games, um, but just a couple plays here and there that uh, were the difference. And uh, you know, in this league, uh, you, you've got to bring it every night, and you've got to bring it every possession, or, or you could uh, in, end up on the losing end. And, and it was disappointing for us because we had we had a great crowd, we had great uh, fan participation, and uh, really our overall team effort was great. First game against West Florida, uh, trailing by 10 late in that ball game. Your team makes a comeback. Dee Dee Smith had a big three-point play that turned into a four-point play after he was fouled, knocked down the free throw, trimmed it to one in the final two minutes. And from there, it just felt like the ball would not fall in the hoop. We couldn't get things to go our way. Yeah, we had a, a two-point lead and had a couple possessions where we, uh, we, we could have taken a four-point lead or a five-point lead. And uh, West Florida ended up uh, getting stops. And that, that was kind of the, the difference in the ball game. Then Valdosta State coach, uh, your team had a double digit lead in the second half. Valdosta State came back, forcing the game into overtime. That's where the, the Blazers were able to come away with the win. But what can you say about the effort against uh, the top ranked team in the Gulf South Conference? Effort really good. Uh, execution in the overtime uh, was kind of what got us uh, four turnovers in, in the last five minutes. And, um, you know, we finished out the UAH game so strong, and then these last two games didn't, didn't do as well. When we come back in this episode of Inside UNA Basketball, we'll take a look at the highlights from each of those two ball games. Stick around, you're watching Inside UNA Basketball. Looking for a stylish new vehicle that gets great gas mileage? Then look no further than Ray Miller Buick GMC in Florence. Drive home today in a 33-mile-per-gallon stylish Buick Encore or 27-mile-per-gallon elegant Buick LaCrosse. Check out the economical 32-mile-per-gallon all-new GMC Terrain or the all-new 27-mile-per-gallon GMC Acadia. Test drive a GMC Sierra or GMC Canyon pickup. Ray Miller Buick GMC in Florence. After 53 years, still the Shoals Area's only locally owned and operated GM dealership. Hey friends, I'm Gene Solings. Are you looking for a place to watch the next big game? 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports is your spot. 306 has 30 HD TVs where the big game is always on. And Back Alley is a sports bar where the food matters. 306 Barbecue features fresh off the pit barbecue along with all of your game time favorites. 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports where the food matters in historic downtown Florence. When you support Lil Steve's convenience stores, you're supporting small American family owned businesses. They in turn support our high schools, community and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks and other items from Lil Steve's, you're saying we believe in America. Visit one of these Lil Steve's locations in Florence on Pine Street and on Florence Boulevard, Cloverdale Road in Petersville and Woodward Avenue in Muscle Shoals. Lil Steve's where UNA shops. Time, a precious commodity. It marches on, ready or not. And no matter how hard we try, we can't get it back. It's important to invest your time in your most precious asset, to make time for life's big decisions. At TVA Community Credit Union, our electronic services help you spend most of your time doing things that matter most. TVA Community Credit Union, high quality for what matters most. We've played 90 seconds into this one. UNA scoreless. Tolliver in transition. Left-handed layup from the right side on the feed from D.D. Smith. The two teams exchange scoreless possessions. UNA still trails by four. Nearly six minutes into this ball game. Clayton wants it on the right block. He just scored UNA's last bucket. Goes back out to Didi, almost a pass too strong for Didi. Didi drives in with the left hand, two steps. High floater rattles home. D.D. Smith somehow drops that one in. Daryl Tunker checks in. He's their leading scorer and rebounder. Leads the Gold South Conference in rebounding, but he comes off the bench. McGee in the paint, kicks it out to Smith. Now Stafford with a look from three from straight away, and he answers. Lead back down to one. Kendall Stafford shooting 50% from three, drops that one home. 
Eight on the shot clock as UNA inbounds. To the right of the basket, it will be Jeff Hodge with his white Adidas headband on. Lobs it underneath, pass to Stafford. Stafford goes up strong and he buries it in there. And North Alabama has their first lead of the night, 14 to 13 our score. West Florida back in that 2-3 zone as UNA sets up. Stafford free throw line to Clayton, right block. Clayton goes up strong, misses the first time. It's tipped, again won't go in. Stafford gets it back and he lays it back up and in. Kendall Stafford around the basket, up to nine points. So UNA had a five point lead. West Florida has since erased that. And now North Alabama will try to retake the lead. West Florida in a man-to-man -man defense. This could be the first time we've seen them in a man-to-man -man defense. Tolliver, high post to Stafford. He turns around, top of the key, buries the two-point field goal. UNA reclaims the lead, 20 to 19. Tolliver, right side, dribbles between the legs, goes left side to Hodge. Overhead pass to Tolliver, back on the right wing. Down low to McGee, McGee squares up to the basket, out to Hodge, left side to Adrian. His look from three, right side of the rim. McGee, offensive rebound, he goes back up into the body of Tucker, and McGee bulldozes it in. UNA reclaims the lead. Back and forth we go, 22 to 21. Move it. Back in a 1-3-1 one, one zone, it would appear. Stafford, top of the key, drives in. Here's Hodge, left wing. He buries the three ball. Jeff Hodge had struggled for three against UAH. He just tied the ball game up at 25, 647 remaining in the first. Here comes UNA, down three, 430 to play in the half. Stafford with a deep three from straight away, rattles home. Kendall Stafford just tied the ball game up at 30. Stafford's second free throw, back of the cylinder won't go. Offensive rebound to Vars Tolliver. Adrian left corner, three ball drains it. Timeout, Bobby Champagne. Shot clock is off, clock is running. 18 seconds left in the half as UNA inbounds it. The Lions will get the final shot of the half. 13 as Adrian crosses the timeline. Didi with a three from the left wing, a deep one rattles in. Vincent. Up top, drives right side, a wild floater with the right hand. McGee gets the rebound off the miss for North Alabama. Didi up ahead to Tolliver. Tolliver pumps the brakes out to Didi. Now he'll shoot the three, and he drops it home from the left wing. Didi up top, works to the right side. McGee takes it, hands off to Tolliver. Now Didi back right wing, entry pass to McGee. Right block, McGee spins, goes up strong over Vincenini. Gets it in there, Sharon McGee. Jeff Hodge will inbound, left corner. West Florida settles back in his own. Stafford in the left corner off the inbounds. Trains home the three ball, slaps hands with the bench. It's a one point lead for North Alabama now. 11-11 to play in the game. Didi sets up shop right side around the double screen left, up top to Stafford. Reverses it right wing to Hodge. Hodge points with the right hand, wants the screen. Works left, top of the key. Here's Didi, left side of the perimeter, drives in, crossover dribble to the free throw line. Bounce pass right side to Hodge. Hodge into the lane with the left hand, high off the glass, banks it in. The senior Hodge cuts the lead down to a one. DeHero on the right block, backs down Tucker. Tucker flops and DeHero blows the layup. McGee on the backside, rebound goes up with it. It's a four point ball game now. 65-61, 7.30 to play. UNA basketball down 10, 4.35 remaining in the game. Didi into the lane, dumps it off to Stafford with a high floater. Flings it in with the right hand, here we go. UNA basketball, the Lions need some offense. Here's Adrian up top, DD has it. Left corner to Kendall, where he just hit a three moments ago and he does it again, rattles it home. Here we go, lead down to seven. Flowers Hall needs to get loud one more time. Second free throw, front of the rim, can't connect McGee with the board. UNA down one, Adrian down the floor, right corner to Hodge, here's the three ball from Jeff Hodge. Can't connect, buzzer sounds, that's your ball game. Jeff Hodge had the look from the corner, and UNA comes up short, a one point loss at home, a great ball game to West Florida. West Florida comes away with the 77-76 win. Looking for a stylish new vehicle that gets great gas mileage? Then look no further than Ray Miller Buick GMC in Florence. Drive home today in a 33-mile-per-gallon stylish Buick Encore or 27-mile-per-gallon elegant Buick LaCrosse. Check out the economical 32-mile-per-gallon all-new GMC Terrain or the all-new 27-mile-per-gallon GMC Acadia. Test drive a GMC Sierra or GMC Canyon pickup. Ray Miller Buick GMC in Florence. After 53 years, still the Shoals Area's only locally owned and operated GM dealership. Hey friends, I'm Gene Solings. Are you looking for a place to watch the next big game? 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports is your spot. 306 has 30 HD TVs where the big game is always on. 
back alley is a sports bar where the food matters. Throw Six Barbecue features fresh, off-the-pit barbecue, along with all of your game time favorites. 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports, where the food matters, in historic downtown Florence. When you support Lil Steve's convenience stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Lil Steve's, you're saying, we believe in America. Visit one of these Lil Steve's locations in Florence on Pine Street and on Florence Boulevard, Cloverdale Road in Petersville, and Woodward Avenue in Muscle Shoals. Lil Steve's, where UNA shops. There's a rhythm that flows here, from the way we live to the way we do business. It flows from the banks of the Tennessee River and echoes in the breeze, the downtown street corners, and the stereos that play pure muscle shoals gold. Since 1936, TVA Community Credit Union has been in tune with the very heart of North Alabama, watching families grow and dreams come true. North Alabama and TVA Community Credit Union, in perfect harmony. It's time for the 30 second shot clock. Tonight's contestant is EJ Card. EJ, are you ready? Yeah. Put 30 seconds on the shot clock, please. Ready. What's your full name? Everett Lawrence Card Jr. What's your favorite color? Uh, blue. LeBron or Kevin Durant? LeBron. Favorite restaurant to eat at? Uh, Red Lobster. What is the most points you've scored in a basketball game? 35. Would you rather have a cat or a dog? Dog. Favorite TV show? Shameless. What letter comes next in the alphabet after the letter Q? R. Who would be the best dodgeball player on the basketball team? Myself. Are you better chess or checkers player? Checkers. EJ, thanks for playing. Thanks. Stafford up top, swings it left side to Tolliver. Tolliver around the screen, right top of the key. He'll shoot the three ball from straight away, and he drains it. Tavares Tolliver opens the ball game with a three-point field goal. UNA basketball, back to our right, Didi. Chest pass to McGee up top, one dribble hands off to Hodge. Hodge back to Didi, left wing, bounce pass to McGee, left block. McGee with a mismatch on Morgan, jump stop in the lane, right-handed floater up and in. UNA up five to three early in the ball game. 17.45 on the clock here in this first quarter. UNA with a three point advantage. Didi to Stafford up top. Stafford drives in, dumps it off to the hero. He goes up, banks it in. Kendall Stafford with two great drives and dishes. And timeout, Valdosta State. Here's Adrian Smith with a catch and shoot. Three right side, he answers. Knocks home the tray ball. Didi wants to work it to McGee down low. Now Adrian gets it to him. McGee into the lane, goes up strong over Cadet, finishes on the left side of the glass. Here's KJ James back left side, spins baseline. McGee goes straight up, and James can't get that one to bank in. Tolliver chases the rebound down for North Alabama. In transition, Hodge catch and shoot three right side, drains the tray ball. Jeff Hodge knocks it down, but here comes Valdosta State back the other way. Morgan pulls it back. Owen gets the rebound off of the miss. Let's see what the offense looks like right here. Valdosta State with a half court pressure. Right wing, Stafford takes it. He'll shoot the three after the step back. That drops home. North Alabama back up 8, 34 to 26, our score. Dee Dee lobs it up ahead to Adrian. Yune pushing the tempo. Adrian in the lane, dumps it off to McGee. Left block, McGee goes up strong. 12 point lead for North Alabama. See what UNA dials up. Tolliver right wing, right corner to Adrian. Back out to Tolliver. Here's Dee Dee right side, left side rather. Lobs it far right side to Adrian. Adrian to Stafford, high post. Works it down low to McGee, and McGee goes up over Cadet on the left side, and UNA back with a 12-point lead. We've played two minutes into the second half. Morgan turns it over, Hodge up ahead to Stafford. Ball on the floor, Stafford gets by. He'll go in, slam it down with one hand. UNA back up nine, timeout on the floor. Talk about extremes, nine on the shot clock. James, right block, cross court pass left side to Tyler Johnson, three ball on the way, front of the rim, long rebound. Tolliver chases it down for UNA. Two on one opportunity for UNA. Tolliver goes left side to Hodge, he finishes with a hand on the glass. UNA up 11 now. Transition defense from UNA, Justice pull up three and transition, too strong. Stafford with the rebound for UNA. The Lions off to the races, Hodge, right side, takes it right to the basket, back to back transition layups for Jeff Hodge. Timeout, Valdosta State. Bobby Champagne on the floor, slapping hands with his guys. 
Stafford kicks it out right wing to Tolliver. Tolliver into the lane, dumps it off to McGee. McGee goes up, counted and one! Shaw and McGee from Tavares. Tolliver, a great fight. Hodge in the right corner for UNA, dumps it off to Tolliver. Veldasta stayed to stayed in this 2-3 zone for much of the second half. Stafford at the free throw line turns, dribbles once, kicks it right corner to Didi. Eight on the shot clock, Jeff Hodge has it up top. Five, Tolliver left wing, drives in. Two steps, left-handed runner up and in, ties it up, 2.06 to play. UNA needs a stop now, we're knotted up at 79. The Blazers back in their 2-3 zone. Stafford, free throw line, drives in, high floater, front of the rim, he gets his own rebound, banks it back in. UNA reclaims the lead by one. As close to a five count, Justice turns with it, three, fires up a desperation three, bounces off the glass, McGee with the rebound. Here's Tolliver up the floor, Hodge left corner, three ball in transition, drains it. It's a four point ball game. Second free throw on the way. Up and in, it's a 97-89 score, 26 seconds remaining. Jeff Hodge has it for North Alabama, out to Kendall. He'll shoot the three ball from deep, straight away, knocks it home. Five point ball game, 19 seconds left. Second one up after making the first. 99 to 92 our score, 18 seconds left. UNA needs a quick bucket. Here's Kendall up top, left side to Didi. Didi will shoot the three ball and that's in. Bobby Champagne calls timeout. UNA heating up from three. They lead by four in overtime. Justice, second one jumps out. Here we go, 10 seconds remaining. UNA down four. Hodge right side, takes it right to the hoop. Easy layup, it's a two point ball game with two with five seconds left. A warning issued to Winston Morgan at the free throw line. Second free throw on the way, that's him. Four point ball game, five seconds left. Adrian at half court, left side to Tolliver. Shot fake, he shoots up the three, can't get it to go. Adrian rebound, puts it back in at the buzzer. And Veldasta State will hold on for the win. They, no, they did not count that shot. No, they did. So your final score will be Veldosta State 101, North Alabama 99. The second straight game, North Alabama takes a nationally ranked team down to the wire. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll have post-game thoughts from Bobby Champagne. This is UNA Basketball on the UNA Lions Sports Network. Looking for a stylish new vehicle that gets great gas mileage? Then look no further than Ray Miller Buick GMC in Florence. Drive home today in a 33-mile-per-gallon stylish Buick Encore or 27-mile-per-gallon elegant Buick LaCrosse. Check out the economical 32-mile-per-gallon all-new GMC Terrain or the all-new 27-mile-per-gallon GMC Acadia. Test drive a GMC Sierra or GMC Canyon pickup. Ray Miller Buick GMC in Florence. After 53 years, still the Shoals Area's only locally owned and operated GM dealership. He is the most interesting man in the Shoals. He is an artist, a writer, a philosopher, a historian, musician, astronomer, wine connoisseur, environmentalist, peace prize recipient. When he speaks, people hang on each and every word, especially the verbs. His personality is so magnetic that he cannot carry credit cards. It is said that once he taught a German shepherd how to bark in Spanish and taught a horse to read his email. Someone recently asked him what he did for fun, and here is what he said. I don't eat out every day, but when I do, I eat at City Hardware because to me, it's the most interesting restaurant in the shows. Every adventure starts with an idea, and at CBNS Bank, we help your visions come to life. Imagining a new home? You're in good hands. We can provide the mortgage options you need to build your home sweet home. How about a new ride? We have auto loans with competitive rates and flexible terms to fuel your drive. We've got the most sophisticated and convenient digital products to check balances, pay bills, transfer funds, and even deposit checks all on the go. At CBNS Bank, we put the power of banking in your hands. Kendall Stafford and Sharon McGee are this week's 306 Barbecue Players of the Game. Kendall Stafford finished with 23 points and 6 rebounds in a 77-76 loss to number 14 ranked West Florida in front of a packed out Flowers Hall crowd. Stafford played 34 minutes in the contest, shooting 9 of 14 from the floor and 4 of 7 from the three-point line. Kendall is leading the Lions in scoring on the season at 15 points per game and has started every game this season. Shara McGee scored 19 points and pulled down 17 rebounds as the Lions lost a 101-99 overtime game to number 14 ranked Valdosta State. 
McGee has recorded five double-doubles on the season and leads UNA with just under nine rebounds per game. McGee was 6 of 16 from the floor in 36 minutes of action. The Greensboro, North Carolina native is one of five Lions averaging double figures on the season. Shara McGee and Kendall Stafford are this week's 306 Barbecue Players of the Game. Welcome back into Inside UNA Basketball with Bobby Champagne. It's time for the Lions Lair, brought to you by CBNS Bank. And our guest with you in this edition is Adrian Smith, a junior guard on the UNA basketball team out of Aurora, Illinois. And Adrian, first and foremost, you're, you're from Illinois, from Aurora, Illinois. Where'd you play high school basketball at? I uh, played high school at East Aurora High School. And what was it like playing high school basketball in the state of Illinois? Um, I mean, it's a lot of great competition. Um, I feel like the basketball up north, though, is like a little more structured. It's uh, down south, you know, it's a lot more athletes. So, so for you, what, why basketball? What made you say basketball is the sport that I want to play? Uh, my dad, you know, he played basketball growing up. It's just in my jeans, my grandpa played. So. Runs in the family. Uh, yeah, it really runs in the family. So then at what point in, in your high school career did, did you kind of say to yourself, you know what, I can go play college basketball? Um, eighth grade, really before high school, I uh, wanted to be a, a college basketball player. So. so your first stop before you come to UNA is Wren Lake Community College. You average 13 points per game, about three rebounds, three assists as well. Playing junior college basketball, what was the biggest adjustment from going to the high school level to the junior college level? Um, it's a grind, you know. At, at my junior college, it's, you know, I think the population was like 1,300. Over half the population was um, a prison across the street. So, uh, you know, there's nobody there. You know, it was a ghost town. So, just a school in the town, really. So, it's just a grind. So how does Adrian Smith, the basketball player from Illinois, go from Illinois to Florence, Alabama to play basketball at the University of North Alabama? What, what was the reason you wanted to come play at UNA? Um, I went to a showcase in Atlanta and Coach Mac, Coach McCarter saw me play. And um, you know, I had a lot, I talked to a lot of Division I schools, but you know, I really didn't get, get picked up by, no, by nobody. So this is my you know, second option. So and I'm trying to make the most of it. We, we definitely enjoy having you having you here, Adrian. And, and one of the things that I like about your play is I watch you play both ends of, of the floor very hard. And, and on most nights, you'll guard the team's top top scorer. Yeah. Uh, so what does it take for you to be able to be a, a great defender? Um, you just got to be locked in. Um, you can't worry so much about offense. You know, you, offense gonna come. So if you don't play defense, you you know you cook. It's over with. So. You, know, you just got to be locked in and know where your man is at all times and just make sure I just try to make sure they don't catch the ball so they can't score if they don't got the ball in their hands so you know, so then for you with the basketball in your hands there's a lot of great shooters on this this UNA basketball team yeah. so for yourself what, what's it like to, to be able to, to get get up some of those threes and then what's it be like too to, to see a Jeff Hodge or a DD Smith or Kendall Stafford catch fire for three in a game oh uh, it's, it's great because a lot of teams you know they have you know maybe one or two, maybe three shooters on their team, but you know, we really could space the floor. And it's good because other teams can't key in on one player on our team. So, you know, it might be my night, it might be Kendall night, it might be Jeff night, DD night, T Tavares night, so, you know. Adrian, thanks for chatting with us. Thank you. That's Adrian Smith in this edition of the Lions Lair brought to you by CBNS Bank. We'll take a timeout. You're watching Inside UNA Basketball with Bobby Champagne. Every adventure starts with an idea, and at CBNS Bank, we help your visions come to life. Imagining a new home? You're in good hands. We can provide the mortgage options you need to build your home sweet home. How about a new ride? We have auto loans with competitive rates and flexible terms to fuel your drive. We've got the most sophisticated and convenient digital products to check balances, pay bills, transfer funds, and even deposit checks all on the go. At CBNS Bank, we put the power of banking in your hands. 
Whether it's purple and gold or any other color, Simpsons Body Shop now has three locations to help you get that damaged car repaired, painted, and back on the road. Simpsons is on Cox Boulevard in Sheffield, Highway 72 in Killen, and Broadway Street in Florence. Choose one, and rest assured you've chosen the right professionals for the job. Three generations, three brothers, and three locations. Since 1981, Simpsons is there for you 24 hours a day for towing and repair. Simpsons gets it right the first time. The reputation of Simpsons speaks for itself. The Simpsons boys say, Roar Lions! Hey, Rick and Tony Valentino here, urging you to come to Flowers Hall this year and support Bobby Champagne and the UNA Lions basketball team in their quest for a Division II National Championship. Catch all the action and the excitement. Hey, UNA basketball, that's what I'm talking about. Looking for a stylish new vehicle that gets great gas mileage? Then look no further than Ray Miller Buick GMC in Florence. Drive home today in a 33-mile-per-gallon stylish Buick Encore or 27-mile-per-gallon elegant Buick LaCrosse. Check out the economical 32-mile-per-gallon all-new GMC Terrain or the all-new 27-mile-per-gallon GMC Acadia. Test drive a GMC Sierra or GMC Canyon pickup. Ray Miller Buick GMC in Florence. After 53 years, still the Shoals area's only locally owned and operated GM dealership. Welcome back in Inside UNA Basketball with UNA Head Basketball Coach Bobby Champagne. Uh, Coach, we just saw the highlights from the West Florida and the Valdosta State games. A handful of players had standout performances, our players of the game. Let's start with the West Florida game. It was Kendall Stafford. He finishes with 23 points in that ball game. He also had a double-double against Valdosta State, 22 points and 10 rebounds, knocked down four three-point field goals in each ball game. Uh, he really seemed to play hard in both games offensively. What was working so well for him? Yeah, he was getting good shots. We were moving the ball. Uh, we, we did a good job of passing in both games uh, early on and uh, did a good job in transition. So uh, Kendall was able to get some, uh, get some open shots. He was also able to get some offensive putbacks. So uh, those are big for us. Char McGee had double doubles in both games as well. Uh, first against West Florida, 10 points, 17 rebounds. Then he flips that around against Valdosta, 19 points, 17 rebounds. He's really a man on a mission in those two games. Yeah, I got to the glass. Uh, we went inside to him early and often, and uh, he, he responded well. Um, you know, I, we had five or six guys in double figures in both games, so uh, we, we need to continue to be effective offensively and uh, continue to defend uh, throughout the course of the game. 30 seconds shot clock. Uh, we got to meet EJ Card, coach. He's quite the athlete. Yeah, EJ's playing hard every day in practice. Uh, you know, he's, he's really get, giving us good effort. Uh, Adrian Smith was our Lions Lair segment. Uh, he's really established himself as quite the defender. Yeah, he's done a good job of defending. Uh, his offense has struggled a little bit, but uh, defensively and uh, his effort has really been good uh, since the Christmas break. Uh, up next, it's Union on the road, then back home on Monday taking on Montevallo. Here we are down the back stretch, starting to see a lot of these teams for the second time. Yeah, quick turnaround, uh, three games this week. Uh, Montevallo coming in uh, on Monday night, Union tonight. Should be, uh, should be a good week for us. That'll do it for this edition of Inside UNA Basketball. Don't forget, you can catch all the games on radio on 97.1 WBCF-FM.